Hi, my name is Mitasha and welcome to the Policy Analysis of Union Budget 2023. In this video, we're looking at key proposals, trends in headline budget figures and allocation for different schemes and ministries. The government is proposing to spend 45 lakh crore in 23-24. India's nominal GDP for the year is estimated at 302 lakh crore which means that the government is proposing to spend 15% of the GDP. The estimated expenditure for 23-24 is 7.5% more than what the government had proposed to spend in 22-23. Out of the total estimated expenditure of 45 lakh crore, 35 lakh crore will go towards revenue expenditure. This refers to spending on recurring expenses like salaries, pensions and subsidies. The remaining 10 lakh crore will go towards capital expenditure, which refers to spending on asset creation. When compared to the revised estimates for 22-23, capital expenditure has seen a 37.4% increase, while revenue expenditure has seen 1.2% increase. In 2023-24, 13 ministries with the highest allocations account for 55% of the total estimated expenditure. Defence Ministry once again has the highest allocation of about 6 lakh crore, accounting for 13.2% of the total budgeted expenditure of the central government. Ministry of Railways is estimated to see the biggest jump of 48.6% in 23-24. In case of schemes, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana, inclusive of both rural and urban components, has the highest allocation in 2023-24 at 80,000 crore. Jal Jeevan Mission came second at 70,000 crore, marking an increase of 27.3% over the revised estimates for 2022-23. Allocation for PM Kisan has been kept constant at 60,000 crore, while for Mandreka has been reduced by 33% to 60,000 crore. Without counting borrowings, the central government estimates receipts of about 27 lakh crore. Of this 27 lakh crore, 23 lakh crore is estimated to come from tax revenue. 3 lakh crore is estimated to come from non-tax revenue sources like interest and dividend and 84,000 crore from capital receipts like disinvestment. As you can see, there is a gap between what the government proposes to spend versus its income. This gap between receipts and expenditure, also known as fiscal deficit, will be plugged in by borrowings. This fiscal deficit is estimated to be a little less than 18 lakh crore. Revenue deficit refers to the borrowings required to meet recurring expenditure, which will not lead to asset creation in the future. This revenue deficit is estimated at 9 lakh crore, which is 2.9% of the GDP in 2023-24. Check the link in the description box to read our detailed analysis of the budget. You can follow us on Twitter for daily updates. To know more about all things legislative, visit prsindia.org.